With coronavirus cases at record highs right now, San Diego doctors are being forced to ration treatments and prioritize those who are most at risk. That means if you are vaccinated and you have mild symptoms, you likely can't get an antiviral right now. But there may be another option. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the widely available pill that some doctors are beginning to prescribe. At Family Health Centers of San Diego, they have less than a week's supply of life-saving antibody infusions. The new COVID pills from Pfizer and Merck haven't arrived yet. And so they have to triage these treatments and turn away about 90% of the people seeking them. The biggest reason they have to turn people away is because they're vaccinated. It is a special kind of irony, and it doesn't sit well in the moral and ethical parts of our brains that... Um, that it's the unvaccinated people that are highest risk of dying, that we have sworn an oath to you know, protect life, and they're the ones sapping these limited resources now. With supplies limited across the country, some doctors are now turning to this, a decades old, widely available drug called fluvoxamine. It's an FDA approved antidepressant, but two randomized clinical trials found it can significantly reduce the risk of severe disease from COVID. In this case, there's actually pretty really good data that this, this has a benefit. Dr. David Bulware is studying fluvoxamine at the University of Minnesota. He says the drug works by reducing inflammation, not by attacking the virus directly, so it shouldn't be affected by Omicron. In November, a 1,500-person clinical trial in Brazil found fluvoxamine reduced the risk of emergency care or hospitalization by 30%. That's far less than Pfizer's pill, Paxlovid, but roughly the same benefit as Merck's pill, Molnupiravir. Fluvoxamine costs just $5 a treatment compared to hundreds of dollars for the other two. Clearly. If you have access to Paxlovid, you've got access to monoclonal antibodies, those are your first choice. But in my mind, this is sort of a third choice, um, but it's actually available. And so an available medicine is better than a theoretical medicine that doesn't exist. Last month, health officials in Canada added fluvoxamine to the list of drugs that doctors can consider for people with mild COVID symptoms. But here in the U.S., the National Institutes of Health says there is insufficient evidence to recommend either for or against the drug. Two trials in the U.S. are still underway, and experts like UC San Diego's Dr. Robert Schooley are skeptical. I think it's another one of these things that people uh, would love to, to believe, but the data are very weak about it, and we're only... Uh, a week or two away from having access to drugs that are much, much better. Still, other doctors are looking at fluvoxamine as a stopgap solution. I do know of colleagues that, hey, if there's nothing else, this is a very relatively low toxicity with, with pretty good efficacy. It might be what we reach for next. I'm basically right on the edge of, of uh, writing my first script. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Any doctor can prescribe fluvoxamine for COVID off-label because it's FDA approved, but some are reluctant because it hasn't been endorsed by the NIH. Patients can also sign up for a clinical trial where they will ship that drug to your home, but you also might get the placebo instead.